this video, we'll be taking a look at supervisor reports. For demonstration purposes, this is what our supervisor desktop looks like. Seeing that Cisco Finesse is so customizable, your immediate view might appear slightly different. Our goal is to demonstrate the functionality and to ensure your understanding of your new phone system so that you can confidently and successfully go about your daily tasks. And getting started, we can see here on my main screen under the Manage Team tab, I can see my call bar, and below that, I can find my team performance. Now we touched on the functionalities of this in a previous video, but not exactly what it tells me here. For this example, I have chosen FNFG team by clicking my drop down menu over here on the right hand side. If you have multiple teams to manage, you will find them here and be able to click on them to choose which team you want to see. Over here I can see my team by agent name, I can see their state, I can see their time in state, so their duration of time in that state, and I can see their extension. This could definitely come in handy if I see an agent with an exceptionally long talk time, for example. I could choose to monitor that agent's call and to make sure the call was going in the right direction and to provide assistance if it's required. We have two more pages of reports to view, so let's get started with the first. We're going to choose team data. Within my team data, I see two team summary reports. This first window is similar to our team performance window on the main page, but it has a little more to offer. It has our agent's name, their ID, their login duration, their average talk time, and their average hold time. Below here is a more in-depth outline of this information, but at a glance, this first window gives us a look at what's going on during the shift. And scrolling down, we can see our second team summary report. It offers us a little more information. It still has our agent name, agent ID, their login duration, but it also offers us more statistics on their talk time, hold time, ready time, not ready time, and after call work time. Another key piece of information, it lets us know how many calls have been offered to each agent, and out of that number of calls, how many each agent handled. Our next and last tab for reports is queue data. We have two reports under this tab. The first one is Voice CSQ Summary Report, and the second is Voice CSQ Agent Detail Report. And the first report up here, this keeps track of my queues by name, how many agents are logged in and able to handle those CSQs. So for this demonstration today, I know I have two agents total logged in. When we look at this report, I can see that both agents are assigned to these specific queues. I can see how many agents are currently talking on each queue, how many agents I have ready, not ready, how many agents are in after call work, how many agents are reserved, and I can see the longest call in queue as well. And scrolling down, I can see my voice CSQ agent detail report. If we reference the above report, we can see that it tells us how many agents are assigned to each queue, but not which agents we have. This report here will let us know that this particular CSQ has these agents assigned to it, along with their agent ID, their current state, the duration of that state, and the reason for being in that state. If at any point you happen to find that there is data missing from a report or you feel it's not up to date, simply refresh the browser and allow it to catch up. And these are the reports available to you in real time using Cisco Finesse as a supervisor.